A non-governmental organization connected development, otherwise known as CODE, says, says that its anti-corruption campaign, Follow the Money, has tracked budgetary allocations to the tune of about 50 billion naira budgeted for education, health care and access to water sanitation and hygiene wash across six states. The organization announced this during a stakeholders town hall meeting on the Youth Organizing Leadership Project, which aims to track development projects across Nigeria. Our interventions is trying to answer questions around the budget implementation processes, the um, preparations of the budget, the implementation of the budget. Do they answer questions around tender processes, procurement processes, contracting processes, and how these funds can affect and change the lives of young people across the state? And so we decided to bring our stakeholders from the six states to uh, present these findings to them, provide a way out for the solutions we found and uh, uh, for the problems we've identified them in, and also to to see how young people can work in partnership. Facilitated the execution of this project because nothing had been done. Take for instance one that was abandoned since 2012. You understand? 2012 to now is eight years, right? And nothing was done. But then when we came on board, it's within within a couple of weeks when building commenced. So in the course of um, two to three months, projects have gone from bare ground to 80 to 90 percent completion. And it, if you ask me, I feel that is the biggest impact of this our uh, tracking and monitoring project. Government to see CSOs as uh, partners in this developmental process, they shouldn't think that we are coming after them or that we are fighting them. So if they can align with us and uh, we work as a formidable thing, team, I believe the nation and our states can go forward.